I'm gonna show you how to land a tech job without competing against thousands of other applicants. There are hidden opportunities with barely any competition that actually pay more than the positions you see on job boards. And today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to find them. Later in this video, I'll also share my personal list of over 120 companies that are hiring. Strategy number one, I call it the value giving technique. My client Anayat in our Codebender Accelerator used it to land five interviews and two job offers in just 20 days. All of them were remote jobs at hot stars that raised millions of dollars like lovable. He didn't have years of experience or connections to the Silicon Valley elite, so what was his secret? Listen carefully, this is how the strategy works. The first step is that you have to join tech-specific communities on Slack or Discord. For example, the official OpenAI community, the official React community, Next.js, Superbase. Then as soon as you join them, you want to stand out there. So in the introduction channel or in the showcase channel, you want to share your portfolio or your best projects. After that, you need to pay close attention to the hiring channel. This is where different companies are going to share job postings. As soon as you see something interesting on the hiring channel, this is the secret. You're going to go on the website of that company and you're going to meticulously scan every UI element that they have. Why do you do this? Startups in general, especially those hot startups, they have to move quickly. So this means that they build their website pretty quickly and they build their app pretty quickly, which means that it most likely has a few bugs. This is an opportunity for you. Find those bugs and highlight it to them, show it to them. Ideally, if you can even code a quick fix and you can send them a before after screenshot, that's ideal. You can directly message the person who made that job posting in the community and show those screenshots to them. It can be either the CEO, the CTO, a hiring manager, a recruiter. I'm gonna share a concrete example of my client Anayat. He was in one of those Discord servers that I'm talking about, and he saw the CEO of a startup post a job opportunity there. Anayat quickly went on their website and then he sent this DM. So essentially he tells the CEO, like, hey, I found several bugs and identified some UI UX improvements. I have attached the screenshots for your reference. And here you see that he's basically talking about some bugs like the dark mode being broken, some notification issues, and then some like improvements that could be made. And in the screenshots, he essentially shows that. This is what the CEO replied. Hey Anayat, good eye and great way to make an intro. We have had over 30 applications come in in just the past few hours, so you definitely found a way to stand out. But Anaya didn't just stop there, he used the same strategy for other companies as well. And this is the result, he landed 5 interviews and 2 job offers in just 20 days. If you want to get my and my team's help to land a high paying remote job, click the first link in the description. We're recruiting a new batch but we're very selective, we're gonna coach you to land job offers fast inshallah using our system. Now the next strategy will surprise you, I call it the sniper strategy. Here you want to find a list of hot startups in the market, ideally startups that raise money within the past 3 months. You can find them either on Crunchbase or on Growth List. And I'm also going to share a list of 125 companies in the description that you can look up for inspiration. Now here the goal is not to apply to like 500 companies. This is a sniper strategy, it's not a shotgun strategy. You have to create a list of companies that you really want to work for. Ideally, they should all be within the one industry that you're targeting and you select around 10 to 20 companies. Then you go on their website and you study what the product is about. You read their problem statement, their value proposition, what they're trying to achieve. Then check the reviews about the company. Find them on Twitter, on Reddit, like wherever you can find them. Copy paste all of this inside of ChatGPT and ask it to summarize the main criticism and opportunities of things that you can build for this company. From there, based on this, try to build a simple, like small standalone project for them. The key is that you build this project, you post it online and then you tag them. So for example, you can make a LinkedIn post with like a few screenshots of your app or like a Loom video of your app and then you tag the company on the post and you tag the CEO as well. This is a strategy that a former lawyer turned software engineer used. He was learning how to code and he was looking for a job. Then one day he was listening to a podcast of a few tech founders who were building a startup within the law space. It was like a law software tech company. He liked it a lot, he quickly built a small project, then he made a post on LinkedIn. And in the post he tagged both of them, he said that he listened to their podcast the day before and he built this quick project that he's a former lawyer turned software engineer. They liked it a lot, they reached out to him, they interviewed him and he landed a job like this. If you make a LinkedIn post like this and you're not able to get the attention of the CEO or the CTO, in that case, go on their LinkedIn page, find all the hiring decision makers to work at this company. So all the managers, head of engineering, recruiters, and show the project to them. Share that post to them and you're going to get attention like this. Trust me, companies love candidates that take initiatives and find creative approaches of reaching out to them. Inshallah, you'll get a lot of success if you do this. Now, I said that you can use ChatGPT to help you find project ideas, but now just to give you a concrete example of what this could look like, let's say that I'm targeting the education space. So I want to work in the education space, I'm going to look into all the hot startups right now in the market within that space. And let's say I identify a language learning app. Then I'll try to think based on like where the industry is, based on my personal research about this company, what is something that would be pretty cool that I could build and I could tag them. And right now, voice AI technology is trending big time. A lot of people are trying to integrate this. 
So what if you build a small like standalone little app? There's like a language learning app that allows you to use voice AI. So you can talk to an AI and it's going to teach you the language. And then you post it, you tag the company, you tag the CEO, the CTO, like the hiring managers, and that's how you get interviews. Now I want to share with you one super quick and yet powerful strategy. It's a hack that was shared inside of our accelerator community. I call it the referral finder strategy. Referrals are literally one of the best ways to land a job. It's literally a cheat code. Having a referral can 4x your chance of getting an interview. The problem is that most people are only able to get a few referrals maximum. But imagine if you can get dozens of referrals. Well, there is a way to do it and that's what you're going to get with this strategy. What you have to understand is that employees in a company, like developers, they have incentives to give referrals. Because anytime they give a referral to a candidate who ultimately gets hired, they get paid for this. And the payment can be from five to $10,000. Some people in companies, they even see it as a side gig. And every month they try to find people that they can give referrals to so that they can earn this extra income. So the key here is that you have to find those people in particular, those who are looking to give referrals. And a hack to find them is that you're gonna go on LinkedIn and in the search tab, you're gonna search for this. Quotes, referral and quotes, engineer. Then you filter by the past week or the past 24 hours. You'll start seeing posts like this. This is essentially people who work at companies and they wanna give you a referral. So here is what you do next. You need to connect with this person and send them a custom note about you to make sure that they see it and they accept it and they understand that you're coming for the referral. But then your goal is to convince them that you are the right person to receive the referral. That if they give you a referral, it's not going to be wasted. So you need to show to them that you are a good candidate that has high potential of passing all the interviews and getting the offer at this company. That's why you want to boast a little bit here. You want to showcase your projects, your portfolio, show them cool things that you're working on. You can even send them like a two minute loom video where you introduce yourself so that they can see you, they can hear your voice, they can see that you're a legit candidate and then you showcase them all the best work that you have done. Now, if you like those strategies and you want to get our help to land a tech job fast in this competitive market, click the first link in the description. We're going to help you implement our system. Remember, Codebender, when you do the work others won't, you'll get the job opportunities they can't. I'm sharing more job strategies in this video right here. I highly recommend you check it out. It's one of my most valuable videos ever. Thank you for watching, Codebenders. And as usual, assalamu alaikum.